What's going on, everyone? This is a new web series I decided to make for creating 5M and coding 5M and installing 5M, everything you need to do for 5M. I want to make a note that I am not a dev. I have no idea what I'm doing. However, I do have self-taught experience on what needs to be done or what you can do. So first off, you need to get a VPS, which every link that I'm using today will be in the description down below. Uh, you can use my Zap hosting code for 20% off. It also has all the files for downloading 5M, where to get the master key, where to get the web API keys, and all the other programs that you'll need, such as Heidi SQL, WinRAR, Visual Studio's Code, and XAMP. The first thing, you need to get your VPS. Uh, again, get it through Zap. And once you get the whole server installed and everything, you'll come up with a blank screen, just like this one. It'll only have your Recycle Bin and Google Chrome in here. Once you get this going, uh, the next thing you need to do is go into your firewall settings. Once you're in firewall, go to advanced settings and then go to your inbound. And you want to change your, or you want to make a new rule for your inbound. You're going to do this for both of them, inbound and outbound. You're going to create a new rule. You're going to set the ports. Go ahead next. You'll do TCP. This will be, I think it's uh, 40, I think it's 4120 is what it will be. It'll be a specific port or a local port. No, specific port. And then you'll hit next. And then you'll allow the connections. Next. Unlock all of them. Next. And then you'll name it whatever you want it to be. I keep mine. Uh, it's 5M TCP. And you'll do it again. Make a new rule. And you'll hit UDP. And these are, you want to allow these. Oh, 3120. That's what it is. And then you can do the same for program if you want. You just go to where your CFX start file is. Then also you'll go to outbound and you'll do the exact same thing. For outbound. Now once you have that done, you'll download these programs, which are in the description down below. So you need Heidi SQL, WinRAR, Visual Studios Code. And you'll also need XAMP here. And XAMP is what runs the data or turns on the database, connects the database. Once you have all these things installed, you'll open up your XAMP and you'll go here to config. And then I have mine code through Visual Studio's code. You just click on this box here. Sometimes it'll open and then you just go to all right, desktop Visual Studio's code. So all my programming will open up in that. You also need to auto start the modules of Apache and SQL and hit save. And then you can start these and exit. So whenever you start up your VPS, these will start automatically. Next, once you have everything installed, you'll need to go to, I guess the first link or the 5M download link. And from here, we're just going to do the simple, easy, ultimate, easy setup guide through TX Admin. Our first, what we need to do is on this main screen here, create a new folder, call it whatever your server is going to be. 5M server would name your server. I'm doing mine the name of my server. You play RP. You're going to open up this file. You're going to make another file in here. Call it artifacts. Now we go to the easy setup guide. So Windows, you're going to download the server. You're going to pick what server you're, you're going to be doing. The, you can go with the latest recommended or you can go to TX admin discord and use that recommended. I'm just going to go with the latest. So download here, from here, 
You're going to open up the artifacts. You're also going to extract the server. Or you can open up through Winmar. Either one. Open up the server file. You're going to hit Control A. It's going to highlight everything. You're going to hold right click and drag to the artifacts and move here. We're done with this one. So now, once you're in your artifacts, you're going to scroll down until you see this right here, the fxserver.exe. Click on this to open it. will come up with this don't worry about this stuff i've had i had the server running before so it's just a pin so automatically pop up with px admin you want to make sure these numbers here match up 76 49 76 49 all right link account yep this is me we'll continue Now we're going to do all the setup in TX admin. So as you see, I already have all the stuff set up. And I guess we'll confirm the password because I've already, I've already had it set up. You can make your own password. All right. So now you're in the TX admin files. Or database, so to speak. You go right here to the go to startup panel or startup page. All right. Welcome to Scribble. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to do this. You hit next. Change this to whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to change it to the server file or to the server name. And then you just hit next. And then I'm going to do the popular recipes because I want QB Core. QB Core framework. And then we're going to just let this do its own path. Save that. And we'll save that. So this one, you just skip that. You hit next. So you need your license key from Keymaster, which is also in the link down below. And then from here, you can register your server. Uh, I'm just going to do mine free play RP again. You're going to put your IP to your VPS in here. Pick the server type. Mine's a VPS. I'm using Zap Hosting. And then you can generate your key. As you can see, it's blurred out. You don't want anybody to see it. So I'm going to blur it out. Back here, you'll copy and paste. And you will run the recipe. Let it do its thing. It'll take probably five minutes or so. All right, once this is done, so go ahead and open up where everything's going to be located. You can close this for now because we don't need it for right this minute. You go ahead and hit next. And this is going to be your server CFX startup page. So from here, uh, we got our endpoints, starting points, client. Okay. So now you need your Steam Web API key, which is also in the description down below. Uh, you just go to steamcommunity.com slash dev slash API key. You might have to register it. Just make it whatever you want. Grab your key. You're going to put it here. And the tags, the tags will just be whatever you want it to be. I want to change mine to my server name. Uh, separated by commas. Uh, let's see. Free power, please. Let's do free. Play. RP, we'll do role play, and we'll do custom. Okay. And then here's our license key that we grabbed earlier from the uh, host, or from the, yeah, from the uh, CFX host. Then in your host name, this is what you're going to name your server, which I already have mine from a previous one, so I'm gonna grab that. And this is where like you include your discord and whatever 
I whatever eye popping things you have. Pre play RP, you get a starter gift, cops, EMS, drugs, custom cars, and the Discord. Guess we could add role play in here. And then you're gonna take this, you're gonna highlight it, you're gonna do it again down in the project name. You can change the description if you want. I don't really care. We're in the force game build. This is our database. We'll get to that here in a minute through Heidi SQL. So let me show you the database real quick before we get back in the game. Open up Heidi SQL, which I had you download earlier. You're gonna create a new one. I just named mine whatever the server's called. Save, keep all this default, and we'll hit open. But here is our database right here. This QB core framework 9030E or DE. We open up our database here. 9030DE. That's our framework, which is our database. Also in the server CFG. Come here, my SQL connection string is QB core framework 9030DE. So it shows everything's connected along with right here. Database server connected established or connection established. So let's say uh, somebody gets banned or you're testing stuff and you and yourself gets banned. Come here into the framework. You go into bands. Look at the data. Your name will be here. You'll just click on it and then delete it or drop. I believe, I believe it's just drop. And then you're good. Your voice config, you're going to leave that, leave everything true. I changed my default volume to 6, 0. 0.6, just because I wanted a little bit louder. Uh, VSync data is going to be on. You're going to use, if you want your target system, where you use left alt for your target. Is that the true? And these are all the default things to start. Then since you put in all your info, here's going to be your identifiers. This is identifying me through my 5M code, my Discord code, because I logged into to TX admin with Discord. And then you can add whatever other admins or staff that you would like, which I have my own staff. So I'm going to be doing, I'm also going to be adding group guide instead of admin as well. Add these in here. They're all my guys. These are identified by their Steam IDs or their 5M names. And again, I'm leaving them both because I don't know the difference between QB core admin and group admin. So I'm leaving them just like they are. And I'd put me as God and admin because God has higher powers than admins do. So I put myself as both. So now that all this here is done, just double check everything. Okay, this is good. This is good. Oh, for the clients here, two things you need to know. One, that you're defaulted to 48. 48 people. If you want to add your custom clothing, um, but it's custom clothing and... You want the, like the big colorful title letters and all that. You have to go to the CFX Patreon. It's a minimum of $15 a month. And then you also get more, more player slots. I think it goes up to like 68 or depending on how much you pay, the minimum is $15. And you get like 64 people, 68 people, something like that. And then you get the custom clothing or the ability to do custom clothing. Or you can change your client down to, I believe it's eight. It's either eight or 10. And you can do custom clothing that way as well. Um, I'm just leaving this as my logo and I'll change it later. And then I'm going to add one. No, I'm not. I'll do that later. I'll do that in another video. Everything's here and ready. We'll save and run. Give it a few minutes to do its thing. It'll, it will take a few minutes because... It has to connect the database and the yarn files and the strings. So we'll take a minute on your initial startup. 
All right. I believe this is done. Don't worry about any of this stuff. This is all the initial startup. It's configuring files, so don't worry about any of this. So we are done with all these web pages. We don't need these anymore. Don't so leave your apartment. You're going to left alt on the door. And then you're going to leave apartment. And now you are in the world. Here's something I wanted to add to the config file on the startup. So you see when I go into like the admin no clip, it does that like lightning and smoke kind of, it's annoying. Then we'll go to server config. I have this code. It took me forever to find this code, but I do have it. I will put it in the description below. And we're just going to put this, um, somewhere in here. I think we're going to put it right here below the database. Nope. I lied. We're going to put it right here below the logo. This is going to be this set TX admin dash menu PTFX disabled to true. All right. So now that we're back in the server, after we added that one little bit of code, see, we no longer have that lightning smoke effect. This makes it a little bit easier. Because if you're teleporting around or gooping around, whatever, that smoke just kind of gets in your way. But we just removed it. So now we're good. All right. Well, that is how you set up the server. Uh... It's a little lengthy, but it goes into detail for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, thumbs up, comment if you guys thought it was dumb. Whatever you want. And I will see you guys in the next one.